Hey, good morning. Welcome back in. Well, after several years of looking for the perfect spot, Theater Downtown has a new home. But before they can move in, though, some expensive repairs are needed. And Russell Jones is live with more on how uh, they hope that you can help them out. Russell, good morning. What's going on there? Yeah, yeah. Janice, everything, it's money. You know, we always need more money, right? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> takes money to do theater. Theater is amazing. A lot of people volunteer a lot of time to do it, but sometimes we need a little help. And so does Theater Downtown. They've been around since 2006. I've been in a couple shows, Theaters Downtown, but it's been a while. Uh, we've got Lee Green here. Y'all have got a big show coming up Friday night starring this woman right here. We're going to talk to her in just a minute. But give us a little background on Theater Downtown. Y'all have been a big part of Birmingham. Yeah, we've been. Uh, we've had a, a theater since 2006, a uh, theater company. We've done a lot of shows that no one else has done, a lot of local written shows. And uh, we had our... Uh, we've been in a few different spaces and we had our space uh, we lost our space at the end of 2019 uh, since that point we were like been looking for a, a good space and we were just you know excited to announce to everybody tomorrow night that we have a new home and we have a, a great uh, a fundraising drive uh, and uh, a very uh, our talented Sarah James uh, has, has a great program tomorrow night to be able to, uh, to, to celebrate and let everybody yeah. know about how they can help us out because Sarah, uh, COVID, <laughs> it, it was, it, it was, it did so many bad things, uh, you know, a lot worse than this. But y'all were looking for a new home, then COVID hit, and that kind of put a kink in the plan. It, it did. Um, we, we were actively looking for a new space before uh, we ended up having to leave because we knew they were going to sell the building. We just didn't know how quickly that was going to happen. Um, and so at first, it was, it was devastating to lose a space that had been our home for almost ten years. Um, but. Then COVID hit, and it was a little bit of a blessing that we weren't paying rent on a space we couldn't use. Right. Um, but then COVID started to lift a little bit, and we didn't have a space, and we wanted to produce. So we produced a few shows at other people's venues. I can't thank BFT or Encore or Homewood Theater enough. Um, and speaking of which, we're at Homewood Theater right. because your space isn't ready yet, but that's why we're going to be here tomorrow night. You've got a big show going on. What can we expect? Why are you all going to be here Friday? Uh, so I'm doing a solo cabaret on Friday. I've wanted to do one for a very long time. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm the president of the board of a theater company and we need a fundraiser. So why don't I? You do can this? make that call. I, I can. <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm pretty good. So, yeah. you know, don't worry about it. Um, but it's, uh, it's loosely, um, the story of my struggle with addiction and recovery. And, uh, it sounds very heavy. I know, but it, there's a lot of humor in it. Um, I love a good joke at my own expense. So there's some very important, important poignant moments, but yeah. you'll get to laugh a lot too. All right. So all the, the money's all going towards the fundraising for, uh, the new venue. Y'all going to announce where that's at tomorrow night. There's a lot of cool things to look forward to. Uh, we're going to give you a dress tomorrow night. Or an address, not a dress. Um, That'd be fun, too. I mean, you know, maybe. We'll see. Um, so we'll give you an address tomorrow night. We'll talk a little bit about the new space. And uh, we may or may not be announcing our first show in the new space. Ooh, a lot of exciting things. Well, I can promise you one thing. Theater downtown, it's going to be fun. Even a serious topic, they will make a lot of, not fun of it, but a lot of fun, fun with of it. myself. Okay, there you go. Reporting live in Homewood, Russell Jones, WVRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.